Hello and welcome to this week's Monday Mail and Magazines where we go over the week's mail and check out a vintage magazine. We have just a small stash ad this week and that is the way of a Ravel Custom Car Parts 32 Bantam Roadster body. I snagged this one for like 10-12 bucks. Uh, awesome deal in my opinion. Pick up a cool vintage piece like this and may build her into a cool looking hot rod dragster. Then we have my shop card. Again, if you'd like one, sodakmodelcars at gmail.com, and I'll get one into the mail for you. But on to the good stuff. We have Carcraft, July of 62, for a mere 35 cents. We have a Coupes and Sedan special, 11-page pictorial. Uh, some of these cover cars are one-to-ones, and some are scale. Be a cool shot there. And in the model craft section... We have exclusive AMT's new Turnpike Electric Racing Kit, All-Star Model Car Roundup, and a T-Bird Model Restyle. Let's dig in. And right on the cover we have a Ravel ad showing off some of those Ravel custom car parts. And a little display stand, pretty cool there. Chrome engines, frames and chassis. A little Ed Roth. Little Triumph Motorcycle, cool little ad. We got uh, a new house ad. Uh, model Car Builder's Corner with Bud Anderson. Corvair Duels. Kind of a cool little ad there from Klein's Sporting Goods. Very Cool coloring. Uh, speaking of cool coloring, check that out. We got a 200 racing cart from McCullough and three new hot engines. It's pretty cool coloring. A carcraft ad. Big go, big show plans completed. Talking about uh, the points leaders for the show and drag racing circuit. Cool side by side engine rail. And the winners get to win this Pontiac Grand Prix. Awesome giveaway. And we have some go kart racing action. Even going through the water. Have you tried it? 32 High Boy. Go from the 32 Roadster kit. And then uh, there's some other parts that you can combine to come up with that cool little hot rod. Check that one out. Get, uh, some spray cans. Here's the, the cover art, if you want to know what any of those are, take a shot of that and flash back to the beginning. And I'm sure we'll see them again later in the, the issue. Got some custom tubular grills for your vehicles. Cool stuff. Save on some helmets. There's some uh, Barris custom t-shirts and goodies. Showtime, USA, Houston, Texas. Check out some sweet show rods. The Ranchero. Got some pretty wild paint interior work on that guy. That one's definitely had some uh, body modifications. Another wild paint job. Kind of a, a bunch of stacked panels. Pretty cool. A little pickup. Another pickup with some cool paint work. Twenty nine Ford. A little sidecar action. Some pretty wild paint jobs for the day. 
So Chevy 327 vertical. Those swinging coupes and sedans. Here's some of our cover cars. This is a 32 Plymouth. Certainly don't see many of those. I'll read that down. You can definitely tell that that bad boy has been sectioned. It's got a really cool look. That's for sure. Nice two color interior. Interior is red and white Naga hide. This is a really cool looking hot rod. Here we have the classic 32 Ford. That's got a killer look too. Check out those pipes. That's cool. Got individual headers that travel under the car. Don't see that too often. So look at a little better look at our Chrysler power plant. Nice pleated interior. Cool, cool looking 32. That is awesome. Here we have a 34 Ford. Check that guy out. Kind of a assault racer and track nose on the front. Got a real clean look to her. Looks fast sailing and still. Says he's running a 50 Olds engine. It is blue metallic. The interior is white and red. All red, white, and blue. We got a 34 Ford. Show that artwork there. That's pretty crazy. Neat wheel covers, exhaust, rocking the old flatty, and the uh, interior is just as wild as the paint is. That is definitely unique. You got stripes going both ways, and even got a little sunlight coming in, plexiglass for sunroof, got dual headlights. That's a pretty cool look. Unique bumper there. Very nice. Some cool old school hot rods. What do we got here? We got a 25 Ford. Well, interior shot first. There's the side shot from the cover. Cool chrome reverse. Little shot of that engine award winning. How about a twenty seven Ford flat top? Uh, casual interior. I'm just a Cool casual ride. Of course, running the 48 Merc Flatty. Here we have a 30 Ford. That's got a wicked cool look to it, too. Check out that exhaust. A little hood scoop. Definitely heavy section when the roof is taller than the body. Makes for a cool, cool looking ripper, that's for sure. We got here a 30 Ford. Starting off with all the, the chrome bling suspension. This guy is not afraid of chrome. Even see it poking out there. Can't even tell what's going on under the hood. That's so much chrome. He's got read about that setup. 
Got a pretty wild one going on there. Some more chrome, chrome work. Got a cool look there. But he's got a full white Naga hide and fur interior. Very fancy and then all out. Restyling from mild to wild. Illustrations by William A. Moore on the T Bird. Got some uh, different headrests, different front end. Kind of cool integrated side pipes. Cool looking restyling. Plymouth in a hurry with a fury. What does it take to get a stock bodied sedan over 180 miles an hour? They look into the Paxton Products Plymouth. Shows you how one group went about it. Them old darts are awesome looking. Or fury, excuse me. Kind of that ugly but cool. Very unique styling with those uh, big protrusions. We got the McCullough Paxton blowers. Got a nice full, full cage going on in there. Nice shot with the moon disc. Pretty darn cool. And onto the model craft section, all star model roundup. Some wild and crazy rigs. Start off with a, a VW with a front mount blown Chrysler. That is definitely unique. We got here. Oh, 36 Ford. Got a center seat. Oh, 32 Ford with a front front seat. Mid engine. Some wild stuff. How about that for a 40 Ford? Just get rid of half of it. Call it good. That is certainly a unique one there. Another bug with the front seat, twin engine, twin blown. And yeah, just a cool looking tea bucket. And here's another 40 Ford. I guess the, the front seating was the, the craze of the time. Everybody's doing it. Cool little slingshot. Another front end front mounted Chrysler. Twin engine. Slingster. Monogram Sizzler. There's a cool side by side double engine kit. There is a 44 Broadster thing. Pretty wild. We got a side mounted engine in that one. All sorts of wild and crazy stuff. If you want to read all the things next to it. Customs early late. I'm not even sure what that. Oh, it looks like a 60 Ford Falcon. Pretty, pretty wild. Just a classic 40 Ford. Kind of that original release flame job. Pretty cool. Another wacky take on a 36 Ford. We're going to flip everything. Sixty two Impala. Looks like it's a smoothed out custom little fade paint. That's pretty cool. Cleaning classic. Looks like we got a wild looking Corvair. Big roll bar sticking out. Another one of our old Dodges. Just cool. About that uh, short and tall T thing. Uh, 
That's a heavily modified car. 36 Ford. 30 Ford Phaeton. Man, they went all out back in the day, didn't they? Did some cool stuff. See the interior. Got a full pleat job in that one. Cool stuff. All dolled up as a show scene. Showing off the chrome. Another wild custom. Check out that uh, vertical steering wheel. That would be an interesting one to drive. And Roadsters. Got a little track nose action there. Or midget nose, I guess. That one's really kinked up. Pretty wild. Different take on the a la carte. The engine set way back into the firewall. With a some sort of multi carb blower setup. Nice looking twenty nine. Let you read that if you'd like. American and imported sports customs. A little classic Corvette action there. And this one's a Corvette with a what is that 44 roof on it? Let's not see it. Scan them in over it. But that's what it looks like. It's kind of like a little sedan roof put on top. We got a couple of wild cars there. Certainly read those. Some other interesting customs. That one's got interior work under the hood. Or upholstery work under the hood. And to pickups. Classic 60 El Camino. I need to get my hands on one of those at some point. A little Falcon Ranchero full of goodies. He's got her loaded down with the extras. I'm not even sure what that was. Very unique, that's for sure. It's a milk milk truck looking thing. I guess it's a pie wagon. Modified. Cool custom. He's got like gullwing tops, opening doors, dual side pipes. Wow, lots of crazy custom stuff. And there's a, a Diora modified. Awesome stuff if you want to read it. And moving on to the shell wagon 55 wagon. Cool looking thing. Looks like he's running a dummy sides on it. Looks like he's got lots of pinstripe work going on. Cool taillight work. Triple carbs. Kentucky cool one. A 57 Chevy. Heavily, heavily modified. For an end. Check the interior. Got some interior work. You got a six carb small block. Cool stuff. Definitely interesting profile. Check out the weird like hook cutouts over the headlights. Like the bumper. Real Real wild styling. This is very unique for those air vents on the 57. And here's our AMT Turnpike Racer. AMT's new Turnpike set provides added realism with cars that steer, back up, and change lanes at the driver's command. A revolutionary new approach to slot racing. Even 
spin each other out race to the the changeover do some passing cool cool wild stuff these guys are definitely having a blast there's a look at the whole track and cars themselves kind of showing their their unique setup that allows them to to spin out very cool we got some go-kart slicks old rich model carts model kits mini men 176,000 yards of dirt ripping some go-karts of a go-kart special boys are catching air that's pretty cool sweet action shots more of those mini men cool stuff just for 59 cents them together getting them dressed up here we have a monogram Fords ad 30 Phaeton 34 Ford 30 Ford 36 Ford just a track conditions two-page JC Whitney it's more indoor cart action Chase around the chase. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Electronic carb synchronizer. Interesting. Little floor shift conversions. You can get some cart insurance we got JC Whitney ad we have some uh, art shirts sweatshirts mouse some glass tea roadsters channel it model craft how to Dropping the body over the frame rails for that low look on an older model. Makes for a cool looking rod. He's got a a la carte nose on there. A little how to if you want to learn how to. I will scan through there. Pause, rewind. J.C. Whitney, Howard's Racing Cams, Hot Rod Magazine, Old Sturt Event Company, that's pretty cool, Model Mail Blag, Custom Fins and Tail Lights, some more shifter conversions, oh we got a little comic down here, More conversion shifter conversions. Some more cart action with Fox. And there's our last page with some Winston cigarettes, like a cigarette should. And that'll do it for this week. We made it to the end. I appreciate it. Again, there's a look at our stash ad and my shop card if you'd like one. Get a hold of me. That'll do it. Thanks for watching.